hello students this is 7th standard science before entering into the next topics of the lesson reproduction and modification in plants let's recall the previous session topics students you can see the topics through the textbook link given below recall session what is reproduction do you remember students the process by which plants and animals produce their young ones is known as reproduction and there are two types of reproduction what are they sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction sexual reproduction is nothing but the seed is produced from a flower by the process of pollination and fertilization is known as sexual reproduction and what about asexual reproduction the production of new plants without the involvement of pollination and fertilization is known as asexual reproduction next pollination what is pollination the process by which the pollen grains reach stigma is called pollination there are four types of pollination artificial pollination natural pollination cross pollination and self pollination so students i hope you all are clear with the recall session now let us continue with the lesson the topics which we are going to discuss today are modification in plants modification of roots and its types modification of stems and its types modification of leaves and its types students in your textbook these topics are available from page number 69 to 77 the first topic in this session is modification in plants what do you mean by modification in some plants root stem and leaves change their shape and structure to perform special functions like storage of food mechanical support protection and for other vital functions this is known as modification let us consider the cactus in cactus the stem appears like a leaf and the leaf appears like a spine its leaves are modified into spines which is an adaptation to reduce transpiration in cactus the photosynthesis process is performed by the stem modification of roots in some plants the roots are modified for storage of food mechanical support gases exchange and for other vital functions let us discuss one by one roots for storage in some plants the roots have become a place to store the food produced by them for example the tap root of radish is the shape of spindle swollen in the middle and tapering at both ends such type of modified roots are called spindle shaped roots in turnip and beetroot the tap root can acquire of top that is spherical at the base and tapering shortly towards the apex they are called top shaped roots whereas 
in carrot the shape of the root is conical broad at the apex and tapering gradually towards the base such type of modified roots are called conical shaped roots mechanical support as the banyan tree is large and huge it needs some support not to tilt that means bend and fall down many plants require some additional support such plants will develop roots on their aerial pods to provide mechanical support these roots grow downwards and act as supportive organs the mechanical supporting roots are three types they are prop roots stilt roots and climbing roots prop roots roots are modified to provide mechanical support as seen in banyan tree these roots grow vertically from horizontal branches of a tree prop roots grow vertically from horizontal branches of a tree stilt roots in sugarcane and maize adventitious roots are arises from the nodes in cluster at the base of the stem these roots are called stilt roots which gives additional support the next type climbing roots in betel and black pepper nodes and internodes bear roots which help in climbing gaseous exchange some roots are grow above the ground for the purpose of gaseous exchange these roots are erect peg like structures with numerous pores through which air circulates these roots are called breathing roots or pneumatophores for example avicennia roots are modified for some other vital functions also hastoria or sucking roots are usually found in parasitic plants that depends on the host plants for nutrition for example cascuta it is a parasite plant that climb the trees and other vegetation and suck nutrition from the host plant students if you want to know more about modification of roots you can see the link given below next we move on to modification of stems some plants have modified stems for storing food and vegetative propagation for example ginger onion potato modified stem may be aerial subaerial or underground stems let us discuss about these stems in detail aerial modifications phylloclade in a dry climate conserving water is a challenge water evaporates from the surface if the surface area is larger evaporation would be more whereas if it is smaller the evaporation will be less for example cactus has a thick stem which stores most of the food production through the process of photosynthesis and leaves are reduced to small spines 
வித் லிஸ் சர்ஃபேஸ் ஏரியா சபேரியல் மாடிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் The subaerial roots grow horizontally on the surface of the soil for the purpose of reproduction. There are four types of subaerial roots. They are runner, stolen, sucker and offset. The first type is runner. The stem grows laterally on the surface of the soil breaks up to produce roots where it touches the ground to give rise to new plants for example centella that means vallari second type stolon stolon is a slender branch of the stem that grows upwards to some distance and it bends towards the ground example for stolon is wild strawberry sucker sucker is a short and weak lateral branch that grows diagonally upwards and it directly gives rise to a new shoot for example chrysanthemum samanthi and the last type of subaerial modification is offset an offset is a short and thick branch that arises from the axial part of a leaf for example ecornia next underground modifications usually stem grows above the ground but there are some stems that grow under the ground to store food there are four types of underground stems they are rhizome corn tuber and pulp first type rhizome it is an underground thick stem with nodes and internodes with scale leaves at the node rhizome have buds for example ginger and turmeric com this underground stem is round in shape and flat at the top and the bottom daughter plants arise from their buds example for com is colocasia tuber it is an enlarged spherical underground stem that stores food it has many buds on its surface known as eyes potato is the best example for tuber bulb it is a condensed stem which is disk like structure and stores food in the flesh leaves the bulb has two types of leaves scaly leaves and fleshy leaves the upper part of the stem has a terminal bud and it is covered by many scaly leaves the inner fleshy leaves store food examples of bulb are onion and garlic students for more informations regarding modification of stems see the link given below
our next topic is modifications of leaf plants have changed themselves to adapt environment they grow one of them is modification of leaves leaves of several plants get modified into different forms based on the purpose and environment let us see some examples of modifications of leaves spines leaves are reduced to spines and the stem is modified into green succulent part to perform photosynthesis for example open here next tendrils the leaf is modified into elongated structure to help the plants climb effectively for example pisum sativum phyllode the petioles expand to form leaf like structure to carry out the functions of a leaf for example acacia traps plants that grow in nitrogen deficiency places adapt themselves in nepenthes the leaves are modified into a flask like structure to insects the inner wall of the leaf extracts the nitrogen needed for the plant pitcher plants or several different carnivorous plants which have modified leaves known as pitfall traps the prey trapping mechanism featuring a deep cavity filled with digestive liquid the plants attract insects and other small animals and drown their prey with nectar after they die plants observe their nutrition students if you want to know more about modifications of leaf see the link given below students shall we see some interesting facts about plants brazil is named after a tree bananas contain a natural chemical which can make people feel happy apple contains 25 percentage of air that's why it floats on water bamboo is the fastest growing woody plant in the world it can grow 35 inches in a single day carrot were originally purple in color it is time to evaluate students i give some questions regarding today's video answer all the questions Question number one. Write a note on file load. Question number two. Ginger is considered to be a stem, not a root. Why? Question number three. What are the four types of subaerial modifications? Question number four. Give an example for trap. Question number five. how photosynthesis takes place in cactus so students if you have any doubts in this session note down and clarify once the school reopens we will see a new lesson in next session thank you students